No, it's, it's a big deal. I am worried about it. Um, I'm worried like my, my son will come to me one day and say, you know, I need some advice on being a black man in America. <laughs> I'm worried about being president. I take cabs everywhere. Sometimes I take them across the apartment just because I can, right? No one ever followed me around a store except when they were worried I couldn't reach the top shelf, you know? It's like, I don't know what to say to him. And my wife has problems too. Like, uh, she's very dark and has an afro, and she'll be out with the baby and people come up and be like, is he yours? Right, now, by the way, this never happens to white ladies, okay? Only to a black woman would this happen. And, uh, and not, by the way, in 1840s, steep south, like in New York City today. They ask, is she yours? And, uh, like, what, I, I, like, Walmart. I mean, it, it, it's like, what is she supposed to do? Like, wear a scarf and walk around and say, Lordy, Miss Scarlet, the land don't burn it down. Like, <laughs> what are they? So it's like, I, she's trying to come up with responses. She's like, is he yours? Yeah, I found him on a bus. He was standing in the middle between the whites only and blacks only sections. <laughs> Is it yours? Yeah, can't you tell the resemblance? We have the same look on our face when people ask us stupid questions. <laughs> yes, he is mine. I got him as my government reparations package. And ran out of acres of mules. <laughs> she got upset, so I was like, all right, well, look. Next time someone says, this is what you do. You lean in real close. Shh, don't tell. They don't know he's missing. <laughs> 